Hi Taurus. Let's do your daily energy check and see what messages spirits have for you today. What you need to know. Spirits, what's happening with Taurus? Okay, two more shuffles. All right, Taurus, let's see what's in your energy today. We have the Knight of Wands. Ten of Coins. I really like that. You guys got that yesterday too, the Ten of Coins. That is um, a completion. That can be unexpected money. Money. It's, it's a very, very good card. The Two of Pentacles is here, Two of Coins. The Ace of Swords. Definitely got someone coming into your energy here. They could already be here. Okay, so we have Leo with the sun, and Justice is here, Libra. The Chariot, Cancer, and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so your ending here is a wish fulfillment. So this is looking pretty good already, Taurus. Why is the Knight of Wands here, spirits? The Lovers. Gemini energy. The Lovers is here. It looks like someone, someone here is coming into your energy and it's surrounded by choices. It's something that you keep going back and forth about in your mind. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio with the Queen of Cups. And then we have the Ten of Cups. Happy home, happy family. A lot of happiness, a lot of love here. Happily ever after. This is... Um, true love I feel like let's see we have the ten of pentacles here so there's this person could be at a distance from you this is your match I feel like you're going to meet your match if you haven't already we have the king and the queen of cups <clears throat> We could be dealing with the Sagittarius here, but it's like you've been standing here waiting for a ship to show up, and this ship is showing up, especially with the Ten of Coins here and the Ten of Cups. Like this is a feeling of not want, not needing anything, a feeling of happiness that you've been standing here waiting for. That ship coming in on the horizon here. You can see the ship showing up. There it is, what you've been waiting for. Um, I'm seeing you going from feeling defensive, guarded. You could still feel like this. It's still showing up in your energy. Like You could be feeling like you're having to fight a lot of battles right now trying to keep up with a lot of different things. You could feel like you have people or 
just different obstacles in your way right now with the seven of wands but you're standing on higher ground and you're going to be fine fine you have um like an angel around you right now we have temperance so i see you finding peace this is a card of peace and patience because I feel like you've been patiently waiting for this energy to show up. And here it is, Taurus. And then we have the two of coins. So this is like a balancing act with the two of coins. And when I look at this card, I'm seeing you kind of putting something behind you. And looking at one particular thing here. So you've kind of been going back and forth. But I feel like you're making a decision here. Okay, so we have the Knight of Coins. The King of Cups is showing up again. This could be a, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio coming into your energy. There's a lot of water here. Um, yeah, there's like this energy here of from breaking your back you could be dealing with a Pisces we have the high priestess the ten of wands from breaking your back from the heaviness of the past this energy being dropped and you're coming into um, an energy to where you're able to focus on you your money and putting down the burdens of the past. It's something you've been waiting for. Yeah, there's a wait here. You've been waiting for this, this energy. I feel like things were difficult here. And um, whoever this new love is that's showing up in your energy, male or female, they're showing up as a very loving, giving, kind energy. And this is someone who is coming to you in a right, correct way. Um, this energy is moving very slowly, though. It's slowly because this person is coming towards you right. Not wanting to rush anything. And then we have the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The world, strength, Leo energy, and the four of wands. Okay, so we have 11, 11, you're on the right path. Someone may even be getting married here, but um, we're clarifying the Ace of Swords here. So um, something here that you're working on could be very successful here, but I'm seeing more in this reading. I'm picking up a love, like a love story. And I'm seeing the clouds here behind you. Um, this sword is cutting through the clouds, through um, things that you that you weren't seeing before, things that were confusing. The it's becoming very clear to you now. You're rising above these clouds, and we have eleven, eleven. You're on the right path, and. This is a great celebration. So there's something here that you're going to be celebrating. This could be some type of communication from someone. We have strength. So it's like you're, you do have difficulties in your energy, but you're, you're at peace with like, taming this inner lion on the outside you're you're looking very calm very much at peace even though i see you going through difficulties but it's like you're you're rising above it taurus 
and then we have the world so the person coming into your energy they could be at a distance from you they don't have to be but um it's time to close out the old energy of the past and walking into the new why is the knight of cups here the page of cups judgment and another page the six of pentacles some type of balance a balance taking place here in your energy I'm telling you like I've been seeing this for the past couple days there's a lot that you've been carrying around on your back that is going to come off of your back very soon. It's like a very light, happy energy. There's a completion. Um, you could be getting a new job here where there's financial gain. I'm seeing a message coming in and definitely an energy here of new love. I see a water sign, but it could be any sign that you're dealing with. I'm just seeing, um, someone who's very sweet, very calming to you. And with judgment showing up here, this could be a past energy for some of you, not all of you though. And then we have the sun, the happiest card in the tarot deck. And it's also healing, happiness, the happiest card in tarot. Someone um, probably has a legal matter here and um, it's going to be going in your favor. I, I shouldn't say probably. I'm definitely seeing someone here with a legal matter going in your favor. King of Pentacles. Some of you could be holding on to money. Money might be tight right now. And... Um, I'm seeing you, you're in an energy here of where you're thinking about your money. And I'm seeing like, you're looking at things differently from a different perspective. And something here is going to be very clear to you soon. Something where you could be feeling left out in the cold, feeling a lack of. Um, it's about ready to like, Financial stability is coming into your energy. If you are the one who's watching this, who's feeling a lack of finances, it's like that financial stability is showing up here in your energy. It's like you're going to be made aware of this. Um, by looking at things in a different perspective, looking at things differently, I feel like using your head instead of your back is what I'm hearing and what I'm seeing. But because I'm seeing like you, all of this heavy energy just releasing from you. And then we have justice. Let's see what justice is. The Knight of Swords. Ten of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, there's of cups seeing celebrations here like um a victory a celebration over it's like um the five of swords is 
a feeling of defeat, but this is good because it's you walking away from what no longer serves you, having a realization with this sword, like cutting through what no longer serves you, cutting it out of your life and taking off the blindfold here that you've been wearing. And then when we look at justice, um, you'll be getting some exciting news about a brand new beginning. So there's brand new beginnings showing up all over your energy here, something being made right. You're being recognized by the universe here. It's like, it's your turn to shine. Like I keep seeing for you guys. And, um, there's this painful energy here with the 10 of swords that is lingering in your energy. There's a betrayal here, but this this energy of feeling this pain is coming to an end it's like a determination here to fly away from it you can see like an eagle flying away and you're holding this sword again it's like rushing forward very quickly towards this this ace of wands is very exciting um news coming in something that you'll be very happy about so that you can move forward, very um, taking control of things and moving forward with the chariot, pulling yourself out of a difficult situation. And again, we have 1111, you're on the right path, the Hierophant and the Five of Swords. It's something worth fighting for these are angel numbers, 1111 for you. Um, so you could be seeing those numbers repeatedly and um, fighting for this is telling you 1111, you're on the right path. Five of two fives, fives represent change in tarot. So um, fight for this. Fight for this change, Taurus, because I see when you do, there is right here a wish fulfillment. The Hermit, Virgo Energy, the Three of Cups, and the King of Wands, the Tower. Yeah, everything, everything is getting ready to change. You could be dealing with a Capricorn here, but um, we have the devil and we have the like two strong energies here with the nine of coins and the devil of material gain. And it's showing up as something that you're working on, that you're working on, that you're focused on is going to change here quickly with the tower unexpectedly. This is a celebration and I'm seeing um, a very determined energy coming off of you, Taurus. I feel like this is, this is something that you need to do alone. The King of Wands does not take no for an answer. Um, the King of Wands jumps through any hoops to get what they want. And that's the type of energy you're showing up in here. And the, the lantern that the Hermit is carrying is the wish fulfillment. Again, it's a wish fulfillment and healing. And I, I'm seeing you making something happen here. There's a determination here for something that you're wishing on. And it's showing up here. It's coming in for you. Okay, so let's get some advice for you, Taurus. Actually, 
Actually, let's see what the angel ants and cards say. Let me just shuffle these three times. What does Taurus need to know? It looks like you're just starting this clean slate and releasing a lot of burdens that you've been holding on to, Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? We have let go of control issues, allow this situation to unfold naturally. Unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. There could be someone here that could have been controlling in your past because there's that devil energy that I'm seeing in the future like there's someone that could be clinging holding on to you let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others why is unrequited love here spirits Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. And on the bottom of the deck, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. This could have something to do with marriage for someone. Okay, so let's get your Moonology cards. Okay, we'll just shuffle these two more times. Believe in the impossible. And it's the end of a tough cycle approaches. What does Taurus need to know, spirits? It's time to release negativity and full moon in Scorpio. Conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. And step out of your comfort zone, north node. Okay, Taurus, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. And thank you guys for liking and subscribing and supporting the channel for your donations. I appreciate you guys so much more than what you know. And I love you. I'm sending you all of my love and I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.